put my pants on inside out and then backwards. Not inside out and backwards. Nope. First one, then the other. First inside out and then backwards. That just explains a lot. Oh my gosh, my husband is throwing stuff. Okay. Stuff I set out for the thrift store he's putting in the garbage can. Okay. I'm wildly upset. I'm going to go with that. Anyway, that just tells you what kind of day I'm having. So I'm trying to get to pick it with my load here and start arranging everything. And I can't seem to get my life together. <laughs> I feel like it's all falling apart. <laughs> I think we all feel that way right now. 2020 has been like that way from the start but for me today is is like 2020 as a whole just clumped into one day <sighs> last night I had stomach pain so bad it was all night all night and it wasn't even after I ate it started when I was shopping yesterday and just stayed just stayed so it's still a little bit there today I was hoping I wouldn't have to go back to the doctor and do the colonoscopy, but it's just not going away. And I've done everything I know to do. Nothing's showing up on the test, so. My pain. And then this morning I was like, maybe it'll pass before I have to go. And I'm, I'm like, no, it's just gonna be painful. Oh, I'm just gonna grab an Advil and see if that helped. I forgot. Too late, I'm on the road. But I'm gonna get to pick it and work on the main booth, the big booth, uh, first. And then tomorrow I will come back and do the closet. And then on Friday, it is porch space time. So I'm gonna have to move the stuff that's going out on the porch out of my booth to work my booth. Especially if there's other picket bed scowls there today and since I waited till the last minute. So I didn't get it done, but this week I can't, I can't be in pain. I got to get it done. Space done and I'm leaving a lot later than I wish I had. It's 925, which means there's going to be gals there when I get there. There's going to be other gals there when I get there. So it's going to be busy. It's supposed to snow and rain today. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and the weatherman's like, it's going to be a combination of snow and rain. It's 20 degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday, so I can't complain, but um, I'm not really into the whole snow rain while I'm trying to get stuff done. I didn't wear a coat because I know moving all this crap in is going to warm me up enough. But I think my booth will be nice this month when I get it all finished. I was pulling all the stuff into the living room yesterday that, I'm gonna, that I was going to pack in the car today. I was getting really excited, and it's been a long time since I felt excited about my booth. Um, feels like the whole of 2020 has been kind of like a meh. And right now, I feel excited about putting together the holiday booth. And maybe it's because I like Christmas. We stopped at the little pharmacy here in town, and a little thrifty white. Picked up some Advil. Stop whining now. See if it helps. It could possibly hurt. Oh, well, the 
finished the mini storage up here. I'm trying to avoid needing a mini storage, y'all. I got way too much stuff, I think. I gotta go through it. I gotta go through and get rid of stuff that I acquired when I started. Because when I started, I was just acquiring stuff to have stuff to fill my booth. It wasn't good quality stuff, and now I've started to collect quality stuff, and it's time to start letting go of this, the filler. You know what I mean? So if you've got a booth, that's what happens, is you'll start out and you'll start grabbing stuff for filler, and it's not necessarily quality, and I have to go through it all. So as I, as I get the booth ready going forward, I'm gonna be culling through a lot of the stuff which I'd already started doing, but I'm gonna be a little more vigilant now that I've seen my stuff. All right, no one's here but me yet. Okay, so I know I've got a big cabinet that I wanna put in this corner over here. And then that means I have to leave room. My husband will freak out because he doesn't like moving stuff in when there's stuff in it his way. But if he's gonna wait till the last freaking second, there's gonna be stuff in his way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to arrange it, but leave a hole. And then when he gets here, I will tell him to just leave it and I will move it into place. Or he will have a freaking aneurysm. Okay. glad there's nobody here because I can actually move around to get some stuff out so that I get my porch stuff. All this stuff's going on the porch this month and it's got to stay here in here and it's like well pain in the butt. Oh, I'm gonna get my cleaning stuff out of this area. I gotta go next door and get some hot water because I want to clean this trunk that my mother-in-law gave me move my tools out of the corner because the trunk is going to go in the corner just no two ways about it it's going to go in the corner and then I'm going to stack on top of it so that's just the way it's going to be <laughs> and I think I'm going to take out almost everything that was here last month um, almost everything because I have those I have three pieces right now in the car that I do want to bring in here but they're layering pieces, so it'll be good, I think. I'm hearing, I'm hearing stuff moving over there. I keep several patio blocks in Fluffy so that I can raise stuff up, so if I wanna layer under. And this white table, I want to put another table underneath it in front and layer up. And I forgot the four by fours! patio blocks, so. Uh, yes. I'm gonna stand here till it starts talking to me, I think. Thinking of moving this down here and layering a piece on top of it. This is probably what I'm gonna do right now. The pumpkins are all going. Right over there. You want to stay. It's like, no, I don't want to go. Got a fall box for you to go into. Thanks to my sister. Thanks, Jenny. I sound like Forrest Gump for a minute. and go out and get the other table and stuff that I want to bring in here. I uh, took a Tums and that was a huge mistake. Uh, oh. Whatever's wrong with me does not like that. I may vomit. Uh, my feet are itching. My uh, ears are itching. I think I need to go home. Uh, quickly. 
but I need to get this stuff put away. I may need to go in the emergency room. Emergency room. I'm home. We got uh, my hands swelled up like catcher's mitts. And my face turned all red. I got to the emergency room by ambulance from the clinic and they jacked me up with Epi and Benadryl, so now I'm home. My The OG came and he's gonna take my husband to go get my car. And I'm gonna take a nap. 